Hi, my name is PK Newby, and this is Cooking and Eating the PK Way. Tonight we're going to be making hummus. It's so easy to make, and especially if you start with your own dried beans, which is a topic for another time, uh, it's inexpensive, it's quick, and it's really easy. So what we have here is garbanzo beans, also known as chickpeas, an amazing source of fiber and other nutrients. We have tahini, which is sesame paste. We have olive oil. You can also use canola if you prefer. I'll go ahead and use extra virgin myself. A little bit of salt, fresh pepper, lemon juice, garlic. That's it. It's kind of a one-shot deal. We're going to throw everything into our into our food processor over here, and then all I'm going to do is taste it a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe once, maybe twice, to see if we have the seasonings correct. But what we're going to get started first with is uh, I've already chopped the garlic over here so all I'm going to do is add in a little bit of kosher salt you could also choose to use sea salt that's fine I'm gonna use this is end up this will probably end up being oh I don't know very small amount maybe an eighth of a teaspoon that was or so I'm just gonna mash it into the garlic if you want to omit this step you can leave out the salt you can add the garlic all together with your chickpeas whatever you want I'm just trying to incorporate the flavors a little bit first. Okay, so again, we prepped everything. Let's just add everything in, make it happen. This is about, I don't know, two to three cups of fresh garbanzo beans. I'm gonna use them all, so I have some hummus in the fridge for a snack, for hummus sandwich, for tea with vegetables, whatever. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add this garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add some tahini. Sesame paste is one of the major things that you add to hummus. Add a few big tablespoons. This is the type of thing, like so many things you cook, that you really make to taste. So I'm gonna add in a little bit and perhaps I'll add more, we'll see. It's gonna end up being about a eh, third of a cup, I'd say, or so to start. I'm gonna add just a priori, a little bit of black pepper, because I know I love that. The next thing you need is lemon juice. I'm just gonna, I've already rolled these to get the juices going. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze them. You can squeeze them however you prefer. I just go ahead and do it over my washed hand. That way I catch any seeds that go into the hummus. We can avoid the seeds if we do it that way. A lot of juice is coming out there actually. I don't know if you can see it there. So this is a nice juicy lemon. I'm gonna actually start with one to see how that works. And now the last thing we need is olive oil. We'll go ahead and add some of that. So actually while we're doing this, really quickly, garbanzos are an amazing source of protein, especially if you don't eat um, other animal sources of protein, great source of protein, also amazing source of fiber. Also finally, just a little bit of water. You do need water in this. You can use your chickpea liquid if you have it or, or water. This is gonna end up being about a quarter of a cup or so. All I'm gonna do now is whip it up. Okay, it's looking good. You can always, oh, we can already see though that it's pretty thick. I can already tell I'm gonna need more liquid in here, but let's give it a taste just at least for the flavors before I add in some more water. Mmm, that's great. That's really good. Tahini, we're all set with that. I'm good with the sesame flavor. What I want is more liquid in here. You can see that it's pretty thick. I'm gonna add the juice of another full lemon. It really does call for this much lemon juice. And I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil, although it has a really nice flavor, so not too, too much. And some more water. Because you want some, you want your hummus to be creamy, right? You're gonna dip vegetables, whole wheat pita chips in there, whatever you're gonna do. Is delicious it's so fresh tasting when you make it on your own so you can really taste the lemon in there and this is you can use hummus in so many different ways so I will show you what this looks like in a picture on my blog because we're gonna go ahead and adorn it with some fresh parsley oil and some pine nuts then we're gonna dig in and have some hummus so great source of nutrition so what how long did that take 
three minutes, so easy to make. So enjoy your hummus, and I will see you next time.